What up, dude? Yes, Cece. I can see you Hi. now. That took a while. Okay. Okay. Is it better now? Yes, it's it's, it's much much better now. Wow, you look, you look all glammed up, Cece. <laughs> all this for me, Cece. All this just for me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, this is just for me. Nice. Oh. Okay. That's right. You never know who's watching, you know. So, yeah. DC, I feel like today I'm the one going to be asking you the questions. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yeah. See how you are relaxed. What did you say? I said, see how you are relaxed. See how I'm tensed up, and see how you are relaxed. I couldn't hear you properly. Repeat the question. I was like, see how you are relaxed and see how I am tensed up. <laughs> You're tensed up. <laughs> Why? Why are you tense? I have no idea. I don't know. It's just, that's how I'm feeling oh. now. Calm, innocent me. Really? <laughs> I'm calm, Stacey. I'm calm. I'm calm. No, um, it's not a question. <laughs> So is the answer you're going to give me that's giving me the tension right what are, now? Well, what questions do you have in store for me? You know me, I'll just say oh, I'll just say whatever question. comes to my mind. <laughs> everyday questions, huh? Okay. I hope you answer okay. mine. Oh yes, I will. I will. Nice. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, how how's your day been so far? My day. Um uh, Today was a bit calm, I should say. Today, I didn't really get up too much. Uh, mm. I think I, I just went to the gym in the morning. And my day, uh, in and out of work, there were some orders that I have to make sure they went out. And so that's what I did. Besides that, nothing much. I've just mm. been home trying to lie down. After my session today, I was a bit tired. So oh. I tried lying down for a bit. <laughs> Okay, so in summary, it's the same old everyday thing that happened. Yeah, yeah. Same old everyday. Okay, so tell me about Kwekusechi. Who is Kwekusechi? Kwekusechi. Yeah. Um, so Kweku, Kweku is the creative director of his fashion brand, uh, Red Classic, um, I find it funny whenever I say this. Uh, he's a commercial model. He's also, some people say I'm a video vixen. I don't know the male form of a I don't know what you call it. A male video vixen. Uh, yeah, that's professionally, that's me. Uh, I'm an outgoing person. I'm fun to be with. Uh, but sometimes I'm chilled, actually. People who know me know that I'm chilled most of the time. Yeah. So that's just me. In a nutshell. Okay, yeah. so how was your growing up like? How was my growing up like? Yeah. Um, okay, so I was, I was raised by my grandparents. Oh. Uh, yeah. That, that, yo, the look on your face. When, 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 I don't know, whenever you tell people you're raised by your grandparents, they think you're, you're a pumpkin or stuff like that. No. No. Okay. Don't go there. Um... I was raised by my grandparents, who were strict, actually, if you're being honest. They were very strict, so they kind of put me on the right path, you know. Um, I did well in school. <laughs> I went to a very good school, a boys' school, actually. Um, what school did you college. go to? What school did I go to? Yes. Do you really want to go there? <laughs> yes, that's why I asked really want to go there? Yes. We want to know you. We want to know your personal life. So give us all the information. As, as for the high schools in Ghana, the only two, it's... it's which and which? Ogasco and the rest. Are you serious? Yeah, I went to Ogasco. I'm a St. Augustine's boy. Absolutely. No wonder. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised about what... So, so you know what's funny, Cece? I was asked this question in the pilot. Okay. I remember saying... In a pilot, in a cool kids video, 
And I remember mentioning, you know, all students of uh, St. Augustine's, we have a slogan, Apsu. And I mentioned it, and people are just, somebody was asking me, why am I so proud of yes. going to that school? Well, are you also saying yes? Yes. Are you? you look so. Mm. <laughs> no, Gag, you know the zebras. The zebras are at this school. Somebody said the zebras. The zebras are at this school. We are the other one. The other. The, we are the other better school. The, the other zebras are <laughs> the other better school. Not the zebras. <laughs> Those zebras, yeah. Mm. Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah. your group now, how was it like? But growing up, yeah, it was fun. Mm. It was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun. That's all I'll say. It was fun. It was fun. There were times when I went off the rails, you know. But then, I think uh, after high school, college, I was mm. okay. I went to Central University. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Koku, what comes to your mind when you hear people talking about you? What, how do you feel when you hear people talking about you? What are people talking about me? Yeah, negatively. Uh, negatively. I hate yeah. it. I, 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 for me personally, I can't stand... It depends. For me personally, I hate disappointing people. You know, like, I can't stand when I disappoint somebody. So it depends. If somebody's talking about me negatively, if it's true or if it's something I feel that is very true okay. then it worries me but then naturally when people are talking about me naturally about stuff that they just heard or rumors i'm very on board it like i'll just laugh i might even join in the conversation naturally yeah so you did you did mention that you were a creative director for rare classic yeah why rare classic and not any other name like k sechi Pepe sechi or <laughs> yeah, I, I I named it Rare Classic because um, it actually started when I was out of Ghana. I went to, I see a, a few of my colleagues here. I was working in Zimbabwe for some time. And then naturally, I like wearing, you know, my stuff, like African wear, stuff like that. And then people just walk up to me and be like, wow, I like what you're wearing. This looks good. This, you know. It looks different, makes you stand out. So that's just where the name came from. So from there, I thought of this business idea. I thought of, you know, actually turning it into a business. And today, okay. here we are. So the name just came, it just came out of that. Like, it was, it was rare wherever I went to around that time, you know. So I was like, you know what? And of course, okay. I'm classy. Okay. And I see this Okay, so... You agree? No, 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 you agree. You agree that I'm classy, yeah? Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Hello, Mercy. You I are. am, man. Yes, you, you are. Let's make a black man blush, oh, Cece. <laughs> okay, real. two minus question. Um, with the high competition going on in the country, in the, uh, in the fashion industry, what makes your brand stand out? What is the competition? Yeah, like when it comes to the fashion industry, what makes your brand stand out? Uh, I think when it comes to fashion, everybody is unique. You know, everybody, like you can, t like, okay, for me personally, I can actually tell, like, all those brands that I know or that are out there, when I see their work, I can tell, you know, and that's what sets everybody apart. Like, when you look at the Jerry's, if you see an outfit made by Jerry, you can tell. You see an outfit made by uh, chocolate, you can tell. Uh, you can tell, you know. So that sets everybody apart. So it's up to you to find your way, find what you're good at, find your what makes you stand out, find what makes you you, and just keep going that path, you know. Because if you try copying, that's when the competition will, you know, overshadow you. You just have to be you. Okay, yeah. so you mean to say with your product, like with your creation, you are being you. Yours is exactly. Yeah. I'm just being me. I'm just doing what I like, doing what I feel is right, what I feel, what I actually feel looks good on me. And then I, you know, okay. put it out there. Yeah. Okay, so now to the show. How did you come across Cookies GH and what piqued your interest to join? Ah, 
Frage, da kann man kurz gucken. Ich glaube, ich war nur da eine Abend, als ich eine Message hatte. Would you like to be part of? Would you like to be part of the show? And then ask what it was about, and then um, and then they just sent me. I don't remember who it was, but they just sent me like the the guidelines to follow to you know to interview or semi audition. So I did all that. I went through, and then that's when I was told about the show. Uh, I think what caught my attention was. First off was the cast. Okay. I said that time the cast, and then the mission, because uh, we were all told to pick up charity events that we were going to do, or we were supposed to do, actually. You know, and I thought that was that was actually a good thing. Like it was for a good cause, even though most of these shows are all about fun, all about entertainment. The charity aspect actually thrilled me. I like I like that about the show. So. That was the main thing that caused me to stay. And today I'm one of the few that's left. Yeah. I'm an OG. Yeah, because I'm like OG. I read that you started the season one and you are still in the season two. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I'm an OG. I'm still here. All these, all these, all these small, small boys and girls. <laughs> okay, so. Since you decided to stay, what what different things should we expect from you this time around? Well, as usual, I'm always going to be me. I'm always going to be. <laughs> I'm always going to say my mind, guys. But I'm always going to be me. I'll just say my mind. Whatever I feel, whatever I feel about whatever somebody does, I won't hold it in me, you know. Like MJ, MJ, why did you leave the group? Where is MJ? I have MJ. I need to talk to you. Why did you leave the group? What are you trying to tell us? MJ, so show yourself. What are you trying to tell us? Okay, Sissy, continue. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so uh, what projects are you working on currently as part of the show? What projects am I working on currently? Oh yes, so. Um, I've actually I've been to the police station before and I've noticed that um, there are lots of people in remand there who mm -hmm. who don't have should I say lawyers or who don't have people working on their cases some have been in there for months there was actually one I met who said he had been in there for like for like he said about 20 two months, which is like what, a year, ten months. And then I feel like, you know, like we should be throwing more light on some of these. And some of them were have are in there for petty theft. Somebody stole a phone, somebody somebody took money from a mate and was beaten and was you know, some of them like like and how much was it you'd ask him or probably like forty cents, fifty cents, you know. And they've been stuck in there for a very long time. So I feel like that is something that we control more light on, you know, to let people be aware of these people in their situations, you know. I know people who say, oh, but then they are criminals. Yes, they are, but then human beings, you know, you get, you get, you get what I mean. It could be a family member, it could be, it could be anybody. Yeah. Although I don't advocate for crime anyway, but then, you know, so I feel like those people, we need to throw more light on their situation, you know, so that's what I was actually working on for, for season one, I was working on it, uh, I think the problem that I had or that came into my path was the fact that um, we, they don't allow, allow like cameras into the police station, you know, to, you know, cover the cells. So we're currently working towards that. I have a few police people that I contacted and that we are working towards that to see what will happen, you know? Okay. And how yeah. was that so far? How has that been? Um, yeah. Have you faced challenges, like any bad negative things since you started doing that project? Have I faced any negative things? Um, I won't call them negative because they, <laughs> they, they are part of our system. Okay, so have... what challenge have you faced? Sorry? So far. 
uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for this, but you know how uh, in Ghana you walk into any office and you're trying to do something and then people want okay. you to, you know, dash money. You know, so those are some of the things that, uh, those are some of the challenges here. Yeah, yeah, you know, because they want you to see this person, give him something and see this person to allow you to do this and that. And that's you know, those are just the challenges that are facing and the camera issue, but then we sort of have a loophole around that. I wouldn't want to say it here because, you know, we can't talk about that here, but besides that, that's it. Okay. So now, um, you guys had like a cast bonding during the weekend. And uh -huh. uh, what was your experience like? Tell me about it. Oh, it was fun. It was so much fun. And I, for one, I like observing people, you know. Um, uh, before I even go any further, Chichi was late. Chichi, Chichi. <laughs> Chichi is always late. That reminds me, even for the, when we were shooting the pilot, she was late. My goodness, Chichi. The pilot was to act the together. Family. Right? The pilot for the season one. Yes, the pilot. She was, was also late. part of season one. Yeah, she was. Okay. Yeah, so myself and Chichi were the only ones left, so I think. Okay. Yeah, she was late. So. Um, yeah. You were there. <laughs> right? You Let's were see. there. I'm talking about your experience. I'm talking about okay. how your experience went. Like, how yours went. Uh. I was observing everybody. Kakra. Kakra is a funny character. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kakra. Uh, Kakra was fun. But Kakra is a weird guy. He says he doesn't drink. Ah, guys. Somebody who <laughs> he nearly walked with head home. He says he doesn't drink, but out of all of us, he was a drunk one. Can you imagine? <laughs> So Kevin, I'm still Kevin, your wait, let me finish. Kevin was cool, but I don't know. Kevin, I feel like Kevin was hitting on Zizel. Kevin, <laughs> you're not so Kevin, first, you know, like first meet up, Kevin was, you know, Charlie, <laughs> you, you know, remember when we were up there and we came yes. down? Kevin yes. was stuck up there with Zizel. I was yes. like, hey, how are these guys coming down? <laughs> you know. And then when and then when they came down, it was all googly eyed, like you know, staring into each other's eyes, like they were lost in each other's eyes. I was like, hey guys, too soon. Well, cool. You've still not told me about your experience, you know. <laughs> Those are part of my experience. <laughs> like how you how the thing was, like um the place, like how everything went. It was fun, but you know, Gianni and Gianni, another one. <laughs> Gianni. Gianni. Gianni is also a character, you know. Um, oh, like I said, I enjoyed myself. I had fun. The cast, they were nice people. They were, they were fun to hang out with. Um, um, but then, hmm. Gianni. <laughs> Why do you keep mentioning Gianni? Gianni. <laughs> I, I, you know, I caught his sub. He he came for me during his interview. Yeah. He said he'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so Gianni. today is your today is your day. You can also say anything you want to tell him. Like just say anything you want him to hear. Gianni, even before the game starts, me I've killed him already. Oh, Before okay. the game starts, I've killed Gianni already. I've, I've killed him already. Gianni. It, it looks like Gianni. Gianni. It looks like you have a lot to say. And um, we are all here. We are listening. Tell us everything you want to say about Gianni. Like it like it really, really looks like you have a lot to say. Because you keep going, Gianni, 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 Gianni. Yeah, Gianni. Cause he keeps he keeps coming for me. I don't understand it. 
he said he said what he said uh, i'm the only person on the show that's what what did he say he feels that uh, our personalities clashed ah clash with her. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Jenny. Jenny, that's when he was eating the meat, he kept saying there's sugar in the in the meat, there's sugar in the meat. Uh, he's saying our personality so, I, think, I think I need to come in here. I was sitting by Jenny and I didn't hear him say anything. How would you hear? Sugar in the meat. Because how, I was sitting right close to him. How would you hear? Kakra, Kakra, Kakra was whispering sweet nothings into your ear. How would you hear? See, 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 see. So, see. <laughs> my next question. See, you don't even know what to say. Go so to my next question. Would you want the bonus? Why next happen? question? Why next question? You've said you're experienced. <laughs> so you're running away. Okay. Let's go. Would you want the bonding to happen again? Would I want the what? The bonding, the cast bonding. Would you want it to happen again? I would love it to happen, you know. Remember, remember when, remember when we, um, when we, when we were setting the date. When we were setting the date, remember what I said. I told you guys, even if you set the date for that day, that day 10 p.m. I'll be there. Yes, you did. So for me, I wish even every weekend the bonding would happen. That would be nice, don't you think? Yeah, but you know, right now with the Rona and everything going on, we need to, you know, avoid large. Crowds. Yeah, but we don't. We don't. Necess- we don't necessarily need to go to like a like a bar or a restaurant. We can just go to somebody's place. You know, just hang out, play some games, get to know each other some more. You know, the usual games. Yeah, not a bad idea. I'm sure management will take that and then we'll do something about it. The usual games that will make you sip tequila. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> not again. Why? Don't you like tequila? I, I saw you enjoying it. Though. I have videos. Though. Um. So, who do you see as a threat among the cast? Who do you see as a threat? <laughs> There's no one, no. No one? Why do you say so? I mean, I don't... <laughs> I don't, I don't really see anybody as a threat, you know. Because I've been here for a while. I know the ins and outs of the show, uh, you know. Who? Mm. Kakra. <laughs> Gianni. So Gianni. I told you Gianni. Kevin. Kevin, I feel like Kevin can't handle the heat, you know. Kevin... Really? Kevin may not be able to handle the heat. Okay, so the only person I think... Sure, I'll see if he's too known. <laughs> Gianni. Okay. The only person I feel like... But she said she's done the competition. Maybe Chi-Chi. And MJ... MJ, I haven't met her yet. I haven't met MJ yet, so we'll see about that. Okay, so if, let's say, you've, you've been given the opportunity to talk about the cast, what would you say? Firstly, starting with Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Be honest. Be honest. Chi 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 is a firecracker. Chi Chi is the, you know, Chi Chi is the type of girl when you see her, you want to undress her. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, she's. She has that vibe, you know, like she has that. She has that bad girl vibe, you know. Mm-hmm. Like she's too hot to handle, you know. Not for really? me. Anyway. I'm just saying. Yeah, she, she, she has that what vibe. What makes you say that? Is it because 
because of her act, like her outfit, or what makes you the outfit she wore for the not, not, not just her outfit. How 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 is, should I say compose she is? You know how how she composes herself. You know, it looks like okay. uh, not just the look, but even when you have a conversation with her, you know, like sometimes you just look at you and just shake. <laughs> you know, like, yes, I hear you, but I'm coming for you. You know what I mean? She has that. Yeah. 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 So, okay, moving from she to Ziza. 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 Don't, don't underestimate Ziza too. She's, she, she looks calm, composed, innocent. <laughs> it looks like Mother Teresa, you know, she looks like uh, <laughs> really. Like Mother this. Teresa, Mother Teresa doesn't take shisha, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the maybe the the Mother Teresa of twenty twenty, you know, the more advanced version of Mother Teresa, you know, she, okay. you know, but don't count for her. She, did you see what happened between her and Kakra today? Yes, they've been trending on Twitter a lot. Unfortunately, both of them have had their session already, so we can't go back to it. So we yeah. just, I think they'll just continue on Twitter. Yeah. So, to the next person, your favorite person, Gianni. Gianni, my favorite person. Yes, now. Because it was Gianni, 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 Gianni. And when was it? What is this? Like, is there a connection or something? I didn't get it. Wait, is Gianni the bald one? Yes, please. Oh. What does he do again? He's a hairstylist. A hairstylist. Without her, oh my goodness! Ask again. <laughs> a hairstylist without hair. How do people even trust him to do their hair when he has no hair? Um, please, I think that when he's the only person to answer that question. Jenny, answer in the comments, please. Answer in the comments, because I don't understand. How do your clients have faith in you when you have? Okay, so before this shading thing continues, let's go to Kevin, the the ladies' man. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't know. Mm. Mm, since it's coming from you, then I'll believe it. Why would you believe it since it's coming from me? Because you're a woman, you're a lady, and you just said he's a ladies' man, so. Ah, uh, well, okay. Well, okay, well. Yeah, let's so. Yeah, he does. Looks good. You like him, man. <laughs> Please answer the question. <laughs> Let me do the live for you, CC. Let me do the live for you. Oh, he's on tomorrow. He's on tomorrow, so you can. <laughs> so, mm, what would you say about Kevin? Kevin, what can I say about Kevin? Kevin is everywhere. Uh. I've actually had a discussion with him before, uh, you know, to to model my my outfit. We've actually had that discussion before, but then we didn't conclude or set a date. Okay. So yeah, that's all I can say about Kevin. Kevin is okay. Kevin is cool. But for now, I don't know. I don't think he can handle the shade anyway. I don't think he can handle the heat. He I think, I think he'll crack. I think he'll, he'll crack. Are you sure? Yeah, I think he'll crack. What makes you so sure? Uh, For all to be hiding. Hello? 
Yeah. Is it what makes me so strong? Yes. Because Kevin is too composed. He's too. He's too. He's too fanboy, fanboy. It's like it's like he's too. He's too ah. You know. So I don't know. Since your line is breaking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> see, Jen, Jen is like, who is the guy being interviewed again? Okay. Uh, so, I was there. saying, I was saying, for all you know, he could be hiding behind curtains. Like, he has really hidden his true identity. He's just being an actor right now. He's just trying to portray the good guy, the quiet Kevin, and all. You, you can never tell. So? Then we're waiting. We're waiting to see whatever is hiding behind. So now, dear, whatever is hiding behind is not helping. <laughs> he has to okay, come so, out of whatever is hiding behind. So to MJ, what will you say about MJ? MJ. MJ, MJ. Why would you leave a group? A group with your classmates and not say anything. Okay. That's all I have for MJ. I was surprised when she actually left the group. Like, yo, what up? Hold up. What's happening? Um, I've seen her on the runway a couple of times. She was feisty. Mm. She's good. But besides that, there's nothing more I can say. That's MJ, she, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Maybe that, that thing when she I was pissed off like what? Okay. <laughs> so last but not least, Kakra. Yes, Kakra and MJ is, MJ is, MJ is Gianni's daughter, you see? Both of the same person. Oh yeah, he mentioned it. He mentioned it. He mentioned it. So are you trying to say like father like daughter? Cancel both of them. I just want to say like, you're saying like father like, both of them. <laughs> oh, I'm just get over it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, so finally to Kakra. What do you have to say about Kakra? Kakra. Kakra is a weird character. How can you say you don't drink? We meet up and you're the drunk one. Wow. True. <laughs> we meet up and you're the drunk one. And, and, and and I heard, I heard Kakra said, Kakra said I'm his competition. Why is everybody coming for me? What have I done? I wonder. I was just about to ask you that question. Why? What do you have that they all see as a threat? Hmm? What have I done? Gianni thinks I'm the threat. Kakra <laughs> thinks I'm the threat. And I'm sure, I'm sure the guys that are coming up will, one or two will definitely mention my name. From the looks of it, MJ will mention my name. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. so since we are done with the questions and we are uh-huh. reading what the com- the fans are saying, it's now the fans' sec- time. To- it's now time to ask them. Um, sorry, it's now time for the fans to ask their questions. Okay. So please, we are waiting for your question. Any question you have for Koya Kuru? Please, we are here to read it out and prepare to answer your questions. Mm, so, Ga- so Gagin is saying that Kaka doesn't drink, and that's why he got drunk because he has no yeah. tolerance. No, yeah. because he's a dadaba. Because he's a dadaba. Also, no, 
no, no, because like if you don't drink, you are the first person to get drunk. If like Kakra, Kakra, Kakra kept talking about, uh, he kept talking about his dad, his dad, something, something. It, like, like he was trying to insinuate that whatever he was drinking, if his dad saw it, his dad would be mad or something like that. I don't know if you heard that. I'm sure you did. Did you hear that? That's why my mind was in there. Okay, so our first question from Red Ginger for hair is, um, please, I would like to know if that guy knows how to sew because I don't see a tape measure on him. Ah, I'm in my house, so I should carry tape measure on me. Maybe ah. he wants you to be like elegant. You never know. Nah, that is, that is, that is a hater's question. That is a question from a hater. I'm in my house. I should carry tape measure. What am I measuring? Am I, am I, what am I measuring at home? <laughs> okay, so... If, 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 if he can tell me what I, I, I need to be measuring at home, I'll answer him. Okay. So our next question is from Gagen My Gaga. What did you study at Central? Studied business with accounting as the main option. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I did business accounting in, in accounting. Central University. Okay, and the uh, Red Ginger is also accent. Have you seen a body style, a body before? Sorry, I didn't hear the question. His accent. Have you seen a baldy style a baldy? Have I seen a baldy style a baldy? Yes. Like someone with this <laughs> <style. It's> always. <laughs> you know, when I think about it now, that's even funnier. Wasn't wasn't he the one that just did his fake hair? <laughs> was he? Was it? What's the hero that just did his fake hair? <laughs> oh, Gianni, that reminds me. I didn't see that hair. I didn't see that hair at the meter. For some reason, that hair vanished. That hair you did, it vanished. What happened? How how many days did it last? I believe he told a story like how it vanished from the hair. I believe he said that story. <laughs> I want to know how many days it lasted. <laughs> Gianni, so, say it with your chest. Say what with that? What did you say? What did you say? I'm telling Gianni to say it with his chest. He should say it like a man. Like, how many days did it last? Oh, two days. One day. <laughs> I don't know what problem you and Gianni have, but I been, I, I'm, I'm just going to suggest this, that after this whole interview thing, you guys should go. You see, I'm struggling. Class. I'm struggling to hear you. Is it okay? Is it better? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so gagging my gaga is asking, what's your take on taking food off other people's table? Because you know, bribery and corruption is part of the Ghanaian culture. Hence, as we have to address the bribery issue in, G in Ghana, don't you take some? Don't you think someone will start? Okay, so okay, so you say bribery and corruption is bad in our country. 
But yes. that also makes Ghana fun for some people and put food on others' tables. So what's your take on taking food off others' table? Yeah. Um, but then, but then if we don't uh, take away bribery and corruption, we'll never advance as a, as a nation. Um, okay, so there's something else that I do that I haven't talked about. So, um, okay. I'm a software consultant or software analyst. So what we do is we come into your organization eh? and then we study your processes and then we provide a software that aligns your processes and also um, cuts all the human interaction with clients. You get the point? So in a way, if say we come to say Ghana Revenue Authority, we cut off all those points where Let's say if you are going to pay for something, that person that you have to pay money to and add on something for his pocket, you don't have to go through that process. Now I have to go to a central point, whether through a bank or whatever. Okay. So in that way, we are cutting off. All, and what, what happens is that when you cut off all these people, taking bribe from people, you leave the layman home to use his money for other things. Because when you leave those people to do what they're doing, they rather get richer. You see, you have people in the civil service who are office clerks who, quote unquote, are driving, you know, like big, big cars and what, 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 what. Not to say it's a bad thing, but then, you know, skimming off the layman or the person of the streets, you know. And I know you're saying that it's taking food off somebody's table, but then it's not because you're being paid at the end of the month. So that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be your source of revenue you get the point you shouldn't be doing that to somebody take what exactly is on the receipts what they are exactly supposed to be paying you and just do your job so and that's my take job. Yeah. so question from kaka it says um can we talk about the last time you walked the wrong way uh i can hardly hear you he want, Kaka wants to know when was the last time you walked the runway? The last time I did what? You walked the runway. Oh, ah. the runway. Um, that was when. That was. Uh, that was what? Okay, it was. It was. It was a show organized by. Um, Accra Men's Fashion Week. I don't remember what show. Was it Accra Men's Fashion Week? I think it was Accra Men's Fashion Week, yeah. It was Accra Men's Fashion Week. It was 20, 20, 2018, I think. I think 2018. Yeah, I think 2018, yeah. So, um, you did say something about, um, you, let's say you, you, you do, you were, um, an, an, um, uh, analyst. You did say something about that. Yes. Yeah, so relating it to the project you want to work on, that you said that like when you, you want to enter the prison cells. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, Kweku, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Yes, so you did mention that you're a software analyst. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. So, relating it to your project, you were saying something like, um, sometimes when you, want to enter, when you want to enter into the prison cells, they don't allow you. You have to give them something before. So you being a software analyst and you're trying to not um, allow people, not, um, uh, let's, what's the word for this? Um, to condone bribery and corruption. What are you going to do in terms of that? 
I can barely hear you. But then, um, if I understand what you're saying, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a way the the software can aid with that. No, like you said something um, like when um, Gage, my Gaga asked that question with the bribery and corruption relating it to the Ghana police. You said something like you were a software and you gave an example with the Ghana Revenue Authority. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm relating it to your project. Since you said that sometimes when you go there, they would like to take something like a bribe from you before they allow you to do whatever you want to do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to say since you are someone who don't condone such acts, what will you do about that? Or what can you do about that? Oh, the, okay. So the, the the what they don't allow in there is like, like the professional camera with the with the lighting with the crew yeah. and all that. You get the points. That is what they don't allow. So the only loophole around that is if you use your phone camera. Okay. You get the points, or just like a, no, a normal camera without the lights and all those things. So that that is the only way around. But even with the camera, you have to do it somebody and that's somebody at the end you definitely have to you know give him some. Yeah. so um i am adiwa is asking i are you also organizing your own shows Hello? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so I was reading a question from I am Adewa. She wants to know when you are organizing your own show. Oh, she's uh I am Adewa is asking if I am organizing my own shows. Um yes, that is in the plan where I plan on organizing my own like, you know, shows in the future in the near future actually yeah, i'm working towards that i was actually working towards that and then corona corona came you know so currently we're just waiting for things to settle down and then we can kick off we can kick off with you know planning towards something like that okay Gagin is oh. saying she doesn't think Kweku understood the question. What was the question? Because I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear her properly. I can't hear her properly. Okay, my question reason. was, my question was, you don't condone um, bribery and corruption in Ghana, right? Like you don't support that idea. Do, so do I you don't condone bribery? Do, do you support bribery and corruption? No, I don't. Yes. So my question was, you mentioned that in your project, sometimes when you go to the police cells, like, sorry, the prison cells, you would have to give something to someone before they allow you to, you know, go about your, yes. And I was saying, since you don't condone such acts, what will you do to stop such thing? Yo, yes. what, what can I do if even yes, the policeman is taking bribe? If even the policeman is taking bribe, me the lame man, what can I do? You can make something out of it. Since you're doing a project, you can also take it up and do something out of it. In reference I mean, to your uh, software analyst. Yes, I mean, I can't. I can, I don't condone this, but there's nothing I can really do about it since the person who is supposed to be fighting the cell corruption <laughs> doing it, there's nothing I can do. All I can do is, you know, talk to him, do what I have to do and get my project done with. You see, there's nothing I can do since it's actually the policeman. All I can do is just talk to him. Brother man, I talk to him and then, you know. Okay, so that guy's asking, in reference to your IT job, how would... 
That helps it bribery from the police department. I'm sure we'll talk about that one later on our next show. So right now, guess what? Uh huh. It's game time. I'm listening. What time? Game. <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. Enough of the questions. Uh, the questions were getting boring. Uh, okay. Why are these plenty of plenty of questions? Why? Hey, are we doing uh, what do you know? Yourself is this what do you know? Man. You made yourself a big man and everything. So everyone is asking you big, big questions. <laughs> why are these plenty of plenty of questions? Uh. <laughs> okay, so the name of the game is First Thing That Comes to Your Mind. TC, you know what? I'm I'm really struggling to hear you. Can you cut and then send a request again? I don't know why, but I'm really struggling to hear you right now. Really? Because everything is perfect here. I can hear you loud and clear. I don't know why you are having a problem. Is it better? Sorry? Is it better? <laughs> Can you hear me? I can't hear you properly. Wow. Because I can really, really hear you. Loud and clear. Yeah. Hello, Kwaku. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Is it better? I hear you a little, a little bit. Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Okay. Can we continue? Yeah, we can continue. Yeah. So I was saying the the, the name of the game is first thing that comes to mind. Okay. And, and the rules are very simple. You have just one chance. And when you make a mistake, that is all. At the end of the game, we will score you. And then we will announce your score. What you got. Are we good to go? Okay. All right. So... Salma Mumuni. Mumuni. Salma She just launched a fashion line. I don't remember the name, but she just launched a fashion line. And I've, I've been seeing posts of her with uh, Elekem Kumoji. Okay. Nanaba. Nanaba. I don't know why, when you're here, Nanaba, all I can think of is that debacle, that funny face and Lil Wayne fight. <laughs> Nana oh, was the host of, yeah, Nana was the host of United Showbiz, yeah. Okay, Florence Obinim. Sorry? Florence Obinim. I couldn't hear you. Florence Obinim. Florence Obinim. Yeah, the wife Obinim's of Obinim. wife. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> he blew. <laughs> <laughs> she the one. <laughs> I should ask you. <laughs> okay, pink sheet. Sorry? Pink sheet. Pink sheet, elections. Pink sheet, what comes to Elections, okay. elections come to yeah. Efiashwa, Efiashwa Senega. <laughs> that is she where, was she cheating and she was <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, net two. Net 
Netsu. Netsu TV. Netsu TV. Yes. Did you say Netsu TV? Yes. Um, this guy's station. Um, can it be a Japan's TV station? That's all that counts okay. in mind. Okay. Can it be Japan always ranting on the two? Okay. Benin? That's the first thing that comes to mind when I hear it. I just picture Can it be Japan just on there. Okay. What about Benin? What comes to mind? Benin. Oh. I still couldn't hear you. Can you hear me? Um, Kweku, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you mentioning my name. Yes. Um, so the question was Benin. I still couldn't hear you. Can you type? Can you type? Okay, so I think Franklin typed it Benin. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Yeah. Yes, it's better now. Okay, so the question was Benin. I don't know what, what whenever you, you start saying it, then the line just... Wow. Okay, so let's go to the next question. A crapping polo. You say, you say you want to go to the next question. Yes. Since you don't hear it, let's go to the next question. Okay. A capi polo. Delay. Still, I'm getting too much feedback. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Okay. It's much, much. I don't know what's happening. Time is so fast spent. I know, right? Again, so I think right now all we have to do is just, uh, for my part, I'm going to apologize for the connection mishap. Oh. I am very, very sorry for the bad connection here. I don't know what happened, but I'm sure this thing can be solved soon. And um, please uh, just. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cookies, Cookies GH, and then follow us on Instagram at Cookies GH. Kindly follow the cast, all the casts, including myself, Hakmi CC, Kweku Sechi himself. And I yes, also want yes. to say thank you to Franklin. Thank you, Obed. Thanks to everyone who joined in. Thank you, Kweku, for having me here. Any Thank last you for words? having me as well. Um, all I'll say is I hope everybody subscribes to the YouTube page. You know, actually the pilot is on now. There are a few videos on there, so they can check it out. They will see all the other cast members. They will enjoy the show. They will see what we've been up to and what we are planning to do. And then they should follow our Instagram pages. Yeah. And please can you make um, time for us tomorrow? Time with us tomorrow at eight with MJ Lama. I am MJ Lama on her page tomorrow eight o'clock p.m. No gonna mind time, please, please. <laughs> MJ. Um, yeah, no. You know, Sissy, you never asked me. You never asked me that. Uh, kill whatever, whatever question. What? Oh, so he wanted to... Okay, okay, okay. I want to kill... I want to kill MJ. <laughs> MJ and Johnny. I want to kill them again. 
Okay, so kill them I'll again. question before we go. Amongst the female cast, who will you kill? Who would you marry? And who would you kiss? Mm. The female cast. Hmm. I'll definitely kill MJ. <laughs> Is it because Jenny's the dad? <laughs> that too. That too. MJ has to go. I'll kill her. Okay. Can we add Jenny? I'll kill Jenny too. Jenny and Jay. Thank okay. us. So who you marry? Who you kiss? Marry. Hmm. I think I'll marry Ziz. I, I, I know you're going to ask me why. Why I'm married. <laughs> so since you know, I know you're going to ask me why. Jenny just joined. Jenny, kill. Kill. Jenny, Jenny, MJ, kill. Marry. Don't ask me why I'm, 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 I'm going to marry. Okay. I think I'll marry Ziz and kiss okay. Chichi. Can't I have both of them? Can't you I marry can't. both? You can't. You have to choose one. Yeah, so I guess then I'll I'll kiss Chi Chi and marry Ziza and kill MJ and Gianni. Okay. So killing MJ and Gianni, kissing Chi Chi and then marrying Ziza. Yes. Any last words for your fans? Why should they tune in to watch um, like I always say, they better get used to the flex. I'll just be myself. I'll just be my bubbly self. I'll enjoy myself, you know. Uh, I'm going to give the other castmates hell as always. I'm going to be on their toes. I'm going to I'm going to keep them on their toes. I, yes, expect some more from Kukusich. Most definitely. <laughs> John is asking if I'm drinking a low <laughs> Jenny, this is wine over there. This is wine. It's not a little more. It's not a little more. Okay, so we not have like come you. to the end of our interview with Perku. Okay. I love to do this again some other time. So guys, catch CC on here tomorrow with MJ. I have so much rest for MJ. For you, I'll hold on. I'll hold on till tomorrow. You see, you're breaking again. See, see, you're breaking again. <laughs> 